So let's see what else physical facility is required for. Other than nurturing of the body, protection of the body, and digestion of the body. Uh, I'm a little bit uh, reluctant actually to ask this question, but I think uh, for the complete understanding of, uh, to have the complete right understanding, I think uh, I'm compelled to ask this question. You said uh, these are the only three uh, uh, factors required by the body, but at the back of my mind I was actually wondering where this, uh, I couldn't find the right term, but where this intimate relationship uh, with our partner actually falls. I think uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> now, now I'm actually thinking whether it is required or not at the body. If it is required, then where does it fall? Yeah, there you would not need any physical See, there are two aspects of it. One is that out of the sensation, we are trying to get happiness. If that is the model, it does not work. So that is one thing which must be clear. The second thing is that it is for the purpose of the creation, for the purpose of progeny. That is making sure of the next generation. So if it is for the progeny, it has certain definite purpose and it can be fulfilled. There may be two possibilities. One is to get the sensation and get happiness out of it. If you do that, you are bound to get into trouble, into unhappiness. Because the problem with this is this. So whenever you are trying with any senses, this is where you end up. Any sensation does not lead to continuity of happiness. After some time, time, it becomes intolerable for you. Right? So that is one thing. I will tell you a story of God you know, in connection with this. But let me just complete this first. So if you are doing it out of senses, then it will not lead to continuity of happiness. If you are doing it for the purpose of progeny, it will serve the purpose. That's one thing. Second, is that for that no physical facility is required. So you don't have to, you know, relate it to that aspect. So, uh, this first thing which I said about the sensation thing, you know, that there is no continuity of it. There. Uh, one person went to an asylum. Asylum, you know? So when he was visiting this asylum, the first cell he east, you know, then he found that there was a very young man, you know, in a very bad shape, tearing his hairs apart. So he asked the guy, what happened to him? He was in love with a girl and he couldn't get married. <laughs> that is what had happened. Then they moved, moved to the next cell and they found another cell, you know, young man in the same bad shape, you know, wearing his hair as a part. He said, what happened to him? The guy said that he got married to that girl. <laughs> <laughs> And then they moved to the third cell. You know where it was? In the third cell? The girl. So simple. <laughs> <laughs> that is where we are. So if you try to get happiness out of the senses, they are where you reach. 
So if you are not able to get it, you reach there. If you are able to get it, then also you reach there. <laughs> Let's see. What else physical necessity we need? Other than food or nurturing of the body, those and shelter for protection of the body, and some means, some instruments, some equipments to ensure right utilization of the body. So this question as to whether the need of physical necessity can be identified or not, whether it is limited or unlimited. Right? can be now sorted out. That is why I am asking, do you need any other physical facility? Yeah. All biologists are available. Huh? Like food, no, we need that. It is as a biological need we need. Similar to that, I think I suppose you more. So I think can we can keep that one here. It is a kind of biological need. It is not going to be happiness also like one. <coughs> No, but that's what I'm saying. For that you don't need any physical facility. And it is, it is, you know, all these things will have to be, you know, slowly looked into and understood properly. It's need of the sex. Is it the need of the body? Is it the need of the self? Need of the body. Think, think. Lot of points to explore. One of these points is this. So, the way you look at it today, right? It tends also with the need of the sex. Why? You are trying to get if you are trying to get happiness out of the sensation. Then it is related to the need of the self. And one can be very sure that that is where you will reach right? into one of the steps of the sign of the If you are trying to get continuative happiness out of the senses, whether it is sex or any other senses, that is one thing which has to be clear. The source of continuative happiness is going to be right understanding and right feeling, not sensation. Then, the need of the body. There is one need of the self, that is, you know, to continue the generation. This is also the feeling in the self, not in the body. So if you are doing it with this feeling of continuing the generation, continuing the human life, then that can be established through sex. As far as the need of the body is concerned, it is not for any of these three. For nurturing of the body, or protection of the body, or right utilization of the body. If you are using it for, you know, continuing the uh, kind of, uh, you know, continuing the human race, then it can come under this right utilization of the body, of the right utilization of the body. So you have to start thinking, you know, each of these things that we are doing, every activity of ours, as to what does it mean. So that is one uh, part. Regarding this right realization, so you think whether any other physical facility is required. I will respond to the question of this, you know, the uh, on right realization. 
Digestion of the body would mean I am using the body for the purpose of the self. What is the purpose of the self? Right and you know, ensuring happiness and prosperity. Which would mean ensuring right understanding, relationship and physical facility. So if I am using my body to ensure these three, this is the right utilization of the body. If I am doing anything against this through my body, it is not the right utilization of the body. So when I am talking to you about this proposal on right understanding, it is the right utilization of the body. Because through this, understanding can be ensured, right? can be shared. But if I am using the body to abuse, Right? Is it right utilization or is it not right utilization? It is not the right utilization. If I am using the body to hit others, kill others, right? This is against the relationship, right? So it is not the right utilization of the body. So the right utilization of the body would be to use it for the purpose of right understanding, right relationship and physical facility ensuring right kind of physical facility, then it is the right transition of the body. In that sense, if you see, right, there will be a lot of questions about your right transition of the body. So if you are using your body to fight with others, abuse others, right, is it the right transition or wrong utilization? Wrong utilization. <coughs> So this is the need of physical facility. The required physical facility. It's just this. Now what about the count of quantity? This will be required in a limited quantity, unlimited quantity. So let us look at them one by one. Food is required in a limited quantity, unlimited quantity. Limited quantity. The clothes are required in a limited quantity, unlimited quantity. Shelter, house, and these means and equipments which you require for right utilization of the body. It will be required in a limited quantity, unlimited quantity. So if you look at this three, right, you can draw this conclusion that need of physical facility is required in a limited quantity. Physical facility is required in a limited quantity. Now you can see. Whether it is required in a limited quantity, unlimited quantity. <coughs> is there anybody for whom this physical facility is required in unlimited quantity? <coughs> Let us see. <laughs> yeah, it is very interesting. Before you go through the workshop, and you have studied that economics, right? <coughs> you think that your need for physical facility is unlimited. Right? <coughs> but the moment you go through this self-verification, 
you will realize that it is not required in an unlimited quantity. Is there anybody who can have food in unlimited quantity? No. Or yes? Is there anybody who can wear clothes in an unlimited quantity? No. You can make big houses, you know, 500 rooms, but that is also limited in quantity. But when you, it comes to stay, you can stay in one room at a time. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I, I leave that for you to decide. <laughs> I don't want to conclude about that quantity, right? But I certainly want to conclude about whether it is going to be limited in quantity or limited in quantity. If I have to talk to 100 people, I need one mic. If I have to talk to 10,000 people, I may need 10 mics. Right? But it will all will be limited or unlimited. So this is the similarity between animal consciousness and the human consciousness. The animal consciousness, the animal living with animal consciousness has already identified the need. So they will eat, eat as much as is required for the body. The human being has to identify their need by way of understanding it. So we are doing that, right? So this is identifying need of human being with human consciousness. Right? If that human consciousness is not there, the human being will feel that its need for physical density is unlimited. So if I have the right understanding about human being, then I can see that this need of the self is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling. The need of the body is fulfilled by physical facility. With this understanding, we are able to identify the need of physical facility. Not otherwise. If we try to fulfill the need of the self with physical facility, then it will appear to be unlimited. For example, if I ask you, how many clothes do you need to get the continuity of respect? Then you cannot decide, right? Because whatever you do with clothes, you are not able to get the continuity of respect. So every time you think that you didn't have enough clothes, that is why there is a problem. So you will go on accumulating more and more, right? 30,000 pairs of shoes. <laughs> In a poor country like Philippines, Philippines is a very poor country, you know that. And the president of that country is having 30,000 pairs of shoes. Just imagine. Did you call it human consciousness or animal consciousness? <laughs> yeah, it is told that Jai Dalita and got 10,000 saris. Ah, I didn't know this. <laughs> I mean, just getting mad. I, I was telling to such people, you know. You have to take them beer, all these shoes together. <laughs> I'll make them carry these 30,000 shoes. <laughs> then they will realize what it means. <laughs> Just see, every day she changes one shoes, right? It takes her 90 years. And she might not be the, you know, living for 90 years. Somebody need of, at least that is, somebody need of only money, no, what they do with that? This can be one at least. A future in the generation will work together. Yeah, so let's look at this. Let's get back to this. The need for physical facility, if you look at it, it is required in a limited quantity. Let's see, anybody now who thinks that it is required in an unlimited quantity? 
Thank you very much. As long as my body is there, I need uh, shelter continuously as long as my self and body both are there. So See, you are saying the this is what we keep doing, you know. We convert it into money, then it is a problem. <laughs> you don't eat money. Does anybody eat money? <laughs> One has to be very careful. One has to be very careful. The symbols which we use for transaction are not the reality. If you replace the reality with symbols and then you try to deal with the symbols, you will get into trouble. If you talk about food, you can see that when the food, you know, when there is a need or nurturing of the body, you need food. Right? You need to eat the food. Otherwise you don't need the food. This you can see. Right? Now when you convert it to money, it is very difficult to see this. And then you convert that money into note, that note into your entry in the passbook. Right? That entry in the passbook into the soft copy. You know? <laughs> now it is very difficult to make any conclusion about that, you know, soft copy of the money that you have in your, you know, computer or somebody else's computer. You don't even have it in your computer. Right? Frank will have it in his computer. <laughs> 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 it is very difficult. Oh yes, you can decide, right? Clothes you can decide, shelter you can decide. So, let's see, is it required in a limited quantity, unlimited quantity? This is very important thing to decide because only when you decide that the need of physical facility is limited in quantity, that for the first time you can understand the meaning of prosperity, not otherwise. So, when you understand that the need of physical facility is, you know, limited quantity, then for the first time you can understand what prosperity means. So, what I would do is define prosperity, right? And then check with you whether you are feeling prosperous now or you are still feeling deprived. So, let me define prosperity. Prosperity means feeling <coughs> of having more than required physical facility. So let's see whether this definition is correct. Feeling of prosperity means the feeling of having more than required physical facility. This definition is okay. Now if you look at this definition, it has two parts. One is this required physical facility. Second is having more than that. Right? So, required physical facility and having more than what is required physical facility. Right? Now, you can see if you have not identified as to how much physical facility is required, it is marked as one. Can you have the feeling of having more? If 
we have not identified how much physical facility is required for you. Can you ever have the feeling of having more than what is required? No. So will you ever feel prosperous or you will continue to feel deprived? That is what is happening, right? Because you have not been able to decide the need of physical facility and you have not been able to see that it is required in limited quantity. Therefore, in regard of how much physical facility you have, right, you never have the feeling of prosperity. Never have the feeling that you have more than what is required. So you always feel deprived. That is what we had said the first day, right? That if you don't have the right understanding and right feeling, and you are trying to... So if you continue to, you know, make continuity of happiness out of the physical facility, then you think that your need for physical facility is unknown. Therefore, in regard of how much you have, you continue to feel different. And you also deprive others. Is that clear? Is that what is happening? When you are able to see, you know, if you are able to ensure right understanding and right feeling, you are able to ensure the need of the self, that is of happiness, then the physical facility is required only for nurturing, protection and right attraction of the body. So you are able to identify your need. When you are identifying your need and it is limited in quantity, then you can see that either you already have more than what is required or there is a possibility for you to have more than what is required. Therefore, there is a possibility of prosperity. So either you are already prosperous or there is a possibility of prosperity because now you know how much is required. I will just, you know, give one example to exemplify. Like, we were having this discussion like this in the university with the students. And I asked them, we were all taking tea. So I asked them, okay, tell me, if this glass does not have a base, right, how much tea will it take to fill the glass? <laughs> Very simple, right? Everybody started laughing. They said, you will not get filled up. I said, good, at least you can understand this. <laughs> <laughs> then I asked them, how many of you have been able to decide how much physical facility is required? Nobody raised their hand. Right? Then I asked them, Tell me, if you have not been able to decide how much physical facility is required, right? will you ever have this feeling of having more than what you require? Is it regard of how much you have accumulated? Yes? No? No. Because the base is not there. <laughs> right? Then I ask them, do you ever feel prosperous or is continue to feel deprived? You will continue to feel different. That is what is happening. So people who have accumulated 3 lakh crore rupees, they are still feeling different. And they are not able to live together with, you know, as two brothers <laughs> in relationship of mutual fulfillment. 3 lakh crore, just imagine how much money it is. <clears throat> if you convert it to wheat, it will have enough wheat which all the people in India, 100 crore people, can eat for two years. With that money, these two people, the Mani brothers, are not able to live together, you know, as, you know, relate, 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 relatives, right, in a mutually fulfilling manner. They are fighting with each other. Two people, right, three like crore. This can feed all hundred crore people for two years. 
So if you are not able to identify the need of physical facility, irregardless of how much you have, you continue to accumulate, right? And continue to feel deprived. And if you are feeling deprived, you will exploit. If you are exploiting and it is not possible by the given means, rules and regulations, then you will indulge in corruption. <laughs>